Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. Do you consider yourself financially wealthy? My kids would say it like this. Are you rich? Let me ask you a, a question. Are you financially wealthy and a follower of Jesus? If you are, count your blessings because the reality is very few wealthy people trust in Jesus as their savior. They feel like money meets all their needs. They try to find peace in their property and in their possessions, their boats, their houses, their jets, their cars. And it is rare that the wealthy find peace in Jesus. Listen to the words of Jesus in Mark chapter 10, verses 23. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. This amazed them, but Jesus said again, Dear children, it is very hard to enter the kingdom of God. In fact, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded. Then who in the world can be saved, they asked. Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. Understand this. Rich people can be saved because with God, all things are possible. I love how God saves the poor of the world. I love how God saves the rich of this world. When Jesus died on the cross for the sins of the world, it was, it was for the rich and the poor and the black and the brown and the white and the Asian. But wealthier people, regardless of their race, have a harder time humbling themselves and confessing that they need Jesus to forgive them for their sins. They have a harder time receiving Christ as their Savior. But to the rich and to the wealthy, Paul writes this. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Anybody can be saved. Anybody will be saved if they admit that they need Jesus to do the one thing that money can't buy. They need to admit that Jesus died to erase their debt of sin and receive Jesus as their Savior and commit to following Him. Would you like to do that right now? Would you like to become a follower of Jesus right now, regardless of whether or not you're wealthy, regardless of whether or not you're poor? Would you like to become a follower of Jesus right now? And if you do, by faith, Say these words to God. God, I admit that I'm a sinner and I need Jesus to forgive me. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross and pay the debt for my sin that I am unable to pay. Jesus, I accept you as my savior and I commit to following you for the rest of my life. It's that simple. If you gave your life to Jesus today, let us know in the comment section or send us a message on Facebook. We would love to hear your exciting news because the Bible says you have been born again. And that means that camel just got through the eye of the needle. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, share it, and leave a comment. God bless.